Last video, we got a little bit of practice adding decimals that involved tenths. Now let's do slightly more complicated examples. So let's say we want to add four to 5.7, or we could read the second number as five and seven tenths. Pause this video and see if you can do this. So the way that my brain tries to tackle this is I try to separate the whole numbers from the tenths. So you can view this as being the same thing as four plus five plus seven tenths. All I did here is I broke up the five and seven tenths into five plus seven tenths. And the reason why my brain likes to do that is because I can then say, okay, four plus five, that's just going to be equal to nine. And then I just have to add the seven tenths. So it's gonna be nine and seven tenths, which I can rewrite. This is going to be equal to nine and seven tenths. And nine and seven tenths I could write as 9.7. And even though in future videos we're going to learn other ways of adding decimals, especially larger, more complicated decimals, this is still how my brain adds four plus 5.7, especially if I need to do it in my head. I say, okay, four plus five is nine, and then I have that seven tenths, so it's going to be nine and seven tenths, or 9.7. Now let's do another example where both numbers involve a decimal. So let's say I want to add 6.3 to 7.4. So 6.3 plus 7.4. Once again, pause this video and try to work through it on your own. Well, my brain does it the same way. I break up the whole numbers and the decimals. And once again, there's many different ways of adding decimals, but this is just one way that seems to work, especially for decimals like this. So we could view this as six and three tenths. So I'm breaking up the 6.3, the six and three tenths into six plus three tenths, plus seven and four tenths, seven plus four tenths. And then this you can view as, so you could view this as six plus seven, six plus seven, plus, plus three tenths, plus three tenths, plus four tenths, plus four tenths. So if you add the ones here, you have six ones and seven ones, that's going to be equal to 13. And then three tenths and four tenths, well, if you have three of something and then you add four of that, that's going to be seven tenths. And we would write seven tenths as 0 0.7, seven in the tenths place. And then what's 13 plus seven tenths? Well, that is going to be 13. This is going to be equal to 13. 13.7, 13.7, and we are done. Let me do one more example that will get a little bit, a little bit more involved. So let me delete all of these. So let's say I wanted to add 6.3 to, and I'm gonna add that to 2.2.9. Nine. Pause the video and see if you can figure this out. Well, let's do the same thing. This is going to be six and three tenths. So six plus three tenths plus two plus nine tenths. Or you could view this as six plus two. So I'll put all my ones together, six plus two. And then I'll put my tenths together, plus three tenths, plus three tenths plus nine tenths, plus nine tenths. And so the six plus two is pretty straightforward. That is going to be equal to eight. And now what's three tenths plus nine tenths? And this is gonna get a little bit interesting. Three tenths plus nine tenths, and I could write it out. I could say this is three tenths, this is nine tenths. Well, three tenths plus nine tenths is equal to 12 tenths. This is going to be 12 tenths. But how do we write 12 tenths as a number? Well, 12 tenths is the same thing as 10 tenths plus two tenths. And the reason why I broke it up this way is 10 tenths is one whole. So this is going to be equal to one. So when you add these two together, it's 12 tenths, which is the same thing as one and two tenths. 
So one plus two tenths, or, well let me just write it that way. So this I can rewrite as plus one plus two tenths, and then, I think you see where this is going, I could add the eight and the one, and I get nine and two tenths. So nine and two tenths. So it's going to be 9.2. Now the reason why this one was a little bit more interesting is I added the ones, I got six plus two is eight. But then when I added the tenths, I got something that was more than a whole. I got, I got 12 tenths, which is one and two tenths. And so I added one more whole to the eight to get nine, and then I had those two tenths left over. And this is really good to understand because in the future when you're adding decimals, you'll be doing stuff like carrying from one place to another. And this is essentially what we did. When we added the three tenths plus the nine tenths, we got 12 tenths. And so we added an extra whole and then we had the leftover two tenths. Hopefully that makes some sense.